Welcome back to our series on the assimilator, and today we're going to talk about loading samples from other locations than the folder that you're already in. I had a hard time figuring this out, and I did read the manual, I promise, and uh, even though I RTFM'd, I still just couldn't figure it out. So hopefully this will help you get past this. So as we talked about, this shows you what folder you're loaded into right now and you can easily load a sample from that folder. We covered this in previous videos by clicking on data and scrolling to the sample you want and simply loading that. This is a stereo sample loaded into one and two, and it sounds like that. So what if I wanna load something from another folder? Okay, let's, let's load this into two and three. Okay, so you hit load and I've got some nice kick drums here. Okay, here we go. So I'll load into JW Kicks. Click data, load folder, and I'm loaded into this folder. The problem is that doing it like this, you're now in JW Kicks, and I've left where I was in my video series folder. And if I hadn't saved yet, I've just erased everything I've done, and now I've loaded this preset, and I'm no longer working in, in the folder I was in. So here's how to do it correctly. Let's start again. We'll go down to video series. Okay, and I'll load the folder. And you can see that I lost that assignment of that sample, which I put from this folder. So once again, Let's load that sample from this folder. Okay, there it is. Let's go back to three, and we'll say, I wanna load something into three from another location. So I go load. Let's go back to that JW Kicks folder. And there it is. So the trick here is to click load twice. So it says it'll load into preset one, which is where I'm working. So the first thing it, it, it shows here are the presets I've got saved in this folder. And it'll nicely audition these samples for us. Let us know like what we might want to load. Okay, we like this double kick. Okay, so now if I click the data encoder on that, it'll say load and that loads it from this folder into the folder which I'm working on. If you go load and advance, what it does is it loads this sample into three. I think it's a stereo sample, so it'll span into three and four. And then it advances me to the next channel and keeps me in this folder, which you might want. If you don't, you would just hit load. Let's do load and advance just for fun. Load and advance. Now it advances us into five and six. Let's take this one. Load and advance. And it loads us down into this. So it keeps us here so that we don't have to hit load again. And you know, maybe sometimes you do wanna import samples from, you know, multiple samples from another place. So let's take this one. Let's do load. And then let's just do load on this one. So it returns us to, let's hit channels, returns us to my video series folder where I'm working. And you see it's loaded all these samples from another location. So now watch what happens when we save this preset. Save. Let's just call it new. We'll call it new one. All right, and we'll hit save, and it says this preset will contain imported samples that will get saved to the current folder. So it's pulling those samples from their location and it's storing them in your new place. It's just letting you know that, kind of handy. So you hold down save, and now you're good. See you in the next video.